Come discover off-road riding and racing in the seven western states. Host Ricky Johnson, six-time Supercross and multi-time outdoor motocross and trophy truck champion, keeps it real and takes us along his motorsports adventures from Mexico to Vegas. Get connected to living the off-road lifestyle. Side-by-side, single track, trophy trucks, anything with wheels. Ricky and top drivers from all disciplines show us how it's done. Hi, I'm Ricky Johnson with Carson City Motorsports at 395 Off-Road. And welcome to the Mammoth Mountain Motocross 2022. This is where it all begins. As you get to town, there's a certain amount of butterflies and nerves that hit you. But once you've made your way down this asphalt road and you turn this last gravel road to come into the pits is where all the nerves come in. As you open through that meadow and you see the track, the trees, this is where it all begins. <laughs> This race has been going since 1968. We're going to be talking to some of the family members from the McCoys that know the history and the heritage of this event. You have to talk first about the icon, Dave McCoy, that had the vision. And I, when I asked Dave, because we were personal friends, why did you start racing motocross? You were all about skiing. He goes, it looked like fun. And during the summer, we didn't have any snow. So he started riding motorcycles at the age of 50 years old and then that started his passion for not only skiing and evolving the ski lifts, but also this Mammoth Mountain Motocross. So we'll be talking to some of the family members to get a little bit of history. For me, the, the best part about coming to Mammoth, and not to sound crazy, is I grew up back east reading about Mammoth. I grew up in a small town upstate New York, and I read about Mammoth in the 80s and 90s. When you start coming into town, you start getting butterflies. Well, it's a highlight of the year to come to Mammoth. And a lot of family memories are made here. And to see like people like Jeremy McGrath and people like that, we love coming to Mammoth every year. Basically, I retire every time after this and come back out of retirement for Mammoth Moto. So that's how cool it is here. I can't stop coming back. It's just a great place to be. It's exciting, and then as it gets closer, you get a little nervous. <laughs> oh man, just pulling into the track, and you hear the bikes, you get to a certain point, point, you hear all the bikes just wide open going up the hill. This place is insane. It's just like one of the best natural terrain tracks you can ride. And just look around, I mean, it's just beautiful out here. From yesterday to today, completely different tracks as far as uh, rough, you know, square edges, braking bumps, totally different. I think the same bumps in 87 are the same ones that I saw earlier today. Johnson here with the woman that makes it all happen. Lori, how many years have you been, I mean, Mike, they call Mike the big cheese, but you're really the boss. And I would say that that is absolutely true. Uh, this is my 40th year out here. I've probably been running it the last 20. Um, Mike knows everything about moto, but I throw one hell of a party. <laughs> so that's the great thing. We were talking about how innovative Dave McCoy was with his employees, with the way he ran his business, with everything. I mean, the guy was just a 10 of a 10 of a person. How did how was it for you working so close with him all through your career? You know, to be honest, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Dave McCoy. I, I came here, I met him, he made me a part of his family, both at work and at home. Uh, inspired me. Couldn't couldn't go to him with a question or a problem without him throwing a question back at me, making me answer my own question. And we've we've talked about this a couple times, and this having a motorcycle race in the mountains, you know would never happen but Dave made it happen absolute visionary you know here, here's a guy his business is water he worked for LADWP and he looked up at the mountain one day and said we're gonna ski up there I'm gonna have a resort up there and people thought he was nuts and the next thing you know 25 30 years into it he says you know I love dirt bikes I'm gonna go race in the mountains and here we are out here in the mountains it was 32 degrees this morning and Dave would have said Oh, isn't it great? Isn't it great? Dave taught us if you're on time, you're late. And, uh, you know, that, that work ethic is still instilled in me, and it's getting harder and harder to, to teach that to younger people. We really strive to keep that, that dream, that vision going. But, I, I, you know, I believe in 
deliver what people want, deliver more than what they want, and they will keep coming back. And if you look at all of our guests and visitors out here, you know, some first timers, they are blown away. And those that maybe this is their 30th or 40th year, it isn't, it, it's better every year for them than the first time they got here. How many crew people do you have from the mountains? Obviously the cat, cat drivers and all the different stuff. So how many people do you bring from the mountain to, to, to run this race? About 150. So, you know, those guys, me, we all have another job to do right now, but this is number one priority. So we drop what we're doing, we come out here and get her done, and in 10 days we'll get back to the grind. You know, I, I, I don't ride, but I throw one hell of a party and uh, welcome to the party. Thank you for watching all the great acts from Mammoth, but stay tuned because we have a lot more coming your way.